Welcome viewers to Croatia. Warning, be careful here. A couple of things to tell you about in this beautiful resort. Can you guess who we are in the background? We are in stunning Dubrovnik. Absolutely lovely here. I can't make my mind up what's the nicest split of Dubrov Dubrovnik. I'm not sure yet. Couldn't even get my words out there. I was that excited. Lots of wee boat trips going from here. We're going to take a wee, we're going to take a wee wander. And uh, oh, that's the restaurant to be in there, isn't it? Didn't even notice that when I came in there. Absolutely stunning. Uh, we we'll take a wee walk and probably watch to the end because I'm going to give you a wee warning about a hotel that double booked me. It could just be a bad luck coincidence that happened at that very second. But at the same point, I still feel I have to tell you about it because it kind of messed up my afternoon on cue the bells. It messed up my afternoon. I had to find alternative accommodation, so it took me a wee bit longer uh, to get video started, which is not ideal. And there's something else I want to tell you about as well. This is a terrace by the sea. Be very busy tonight. This is where you book all your sunset cruises and island cruises and all that there. Uh, they're going every half an hour there, so they're pretty popular. Blue Cave Tours, Three Island Cruises. Um, I don't really know much about the cruises here. A lot of people have recommended places to go in Croatia. This is going to be a short trip, so I'm not going to have time, unfortunately, to head to all these places. But maybe I'll come back one day. We'll wait and see how the videos do. Um, ice Cream Split has got the most ice cream shops I've ever seen. Let's see if Dubrovnik has got the same. There's actually a wedding going on around here. We'll see if we might bump into it. The uh, wedding photographer was getting some pictures here. So we might get crash a wedding, or they could be away. Oh, there we go. Jeez, oh. It's quite sad that, wasn't it? Right, let's continue. And the very first thing I noticed when I got the bus from Split, you see the video soon about the bus from Split. That's an ordeal. Four and a half hours. I don't think the driver could have went any quicker. It's all windy roads. A beautiful journey, mind you. How nice is it here? Lovely, isn't it? And uh, I just got off. And I was the bus station is down at the cruise port. It's about two miles away from here. But it's hilly getting here. It's quite hilly here. So it would be at least a 45 minute walk. And I was thinking, right, save time, maybe just get a taxi, crack on with the videos. That wouldn't have worked out anyway because I didn't have a hotel booked at that time. Um, we sushi place there, nice area, beautiful. Right, let's walk down here. And uh, the first thing I noticed is there was taxis waiting at the bus station. All the cruise passengers come off the big cruise ships, but most of them have got uh, coaches that take them in. So I don't, unless they're going solo, they're not taking the, the cruise excursion, they might be getting a taxi. So the taxi drivers are basically waiting at the port. It's two mile away, right? It's two mile away, the bus station. And I asked them how much it would be to get a taxi into the old town here. Wait to hear this. Okay, viewers. So warning, I'm, I can't say for definite if it's a scam or it's just the, the it's price fixing, but it's 20 euros for a two mile journey that will take probably five minutes from the bus station in the port, 20 euros. I couldn't believe the price. It's two euros 50 for the public bus. Just walk out the bus station and turn to your right, stay on the same side of the road and the bus station's there. I'll on my video showing you where to get it. It's two euros 50 and takes five minutes to get you here. And uh, expecting taxis will be a lot more expensive than a bus all the time. But they are charging 10 euros per mile, 10 euros per mile. So that's the first thing to be careful of. If if you're in a hurry and there's two or three of you, obviously just get a taxi. If you're going solo like me, taxi and no chance. What's going on here? There's a lot of people here, a lot of walking tours. This is a lot quieter than it was earlier on. Earlier on was jam-packed here, absolutely jam-packed. Um, city gates are just up there that I came through. Um, most of the cruise passengers, I think, have went back to the ship, possibly. They met some guys from Las Vegas who are on a cruise here. Um, and split yesterday I says I might see it in Dubrovnik we'll wait and see I still might see them I think their boat's normally here to about half past nine at night they have to be back on it have you ever seen the videos on YouTube of people who miss their ports and are running to get the ship it's quite sad that's the kind of thing that's happened to me I think definitely <laughs> right I'm going to show you where I booked a hotel 
Now, let me just quickly give you a background on this, right? I don't know if I'll be able to go straight up the way and show you it because the guy sitting outside it and they might think that's a bit cheeky me film in the hotel. I'm going to tell you about it anyway. Okay, so when I got here, I had no accommodation booked, which is probably never a good idea, but it's more exciting. I basically wanted to stay in this very area around about here and not venture far because I'm going to be doing videos in the old town tonight. So the criteria was find something within a five minute walk. Accommodation is very, very expensive in Dubrovnik. And I found a hotel that was £61. £61. And I nearly got my cigar out and smoked it because I thought that is a smoking good deal. It all makes sense, the name of the hotel, I'll tell you in a minute. And then I walked round to the hotel and I went to check in and they're like, we don't have any booking for you. I was like, well, I've got a booking through booking.com. Then they tell me that somebody had just turned up who had a booking for the same day a month later and turned up a month earlier and they gave them the room, which seems almost a bit far-fetched. They didn't have the room. I said, so, so why didn't they immediately take it off sale when they gave that room to another person so I couldn't book it? And the guy behind the bar just had to phone the boss, the manager, and he basically said, there's nothing we can do. So I was homeless, I had nowhere to stay, and I had to find somewhere else. So I'm going to give you a wee warning. Don't book this last minute. If you're ever going to stay in this hotel, book it well in advance. I'm not saying anything against the hotel, because the location is amazing. And the hotel might be fine, but I wouldn't book it on the day. Let me show you what it is. Okay, it's called the Hamlet Hotel. Let me just double check what it is. I think it's down this one, down the next one maybe. Called the Hamlet Hotel Bed and Breakfast. I didn't book breakfast in it, but it's called the Hamlet Hotel. I think it's up this street here. Yeah, I think it's up here. Yep, that's exactly what it is, okay. So basically this is where I was supposed to be staying. The location's amazing. We've got a wee burger bar here as well. They've got a wee beer. Uh, Specialist craft beer place at the top, so it's actually a really good location. Um, just where the guys are sitting, that's the Hamlet Bar, and that's the hotel. So that's the hotel, I should have been staying in that hotel there where the guys are sitting, that's the Hamlet Hotel. And then when I turned up, as I said, they said it was fully booked. What a disaster, they're out, they've now ended up in a youth hostel. Yes, we are. I had to stay nearby. Um, there was a nice hotel around the corner, but the youth hostel was about £25 cheaper. I've got a private room, it's only for one night, it'll do the job, it'll do the job. So be careful, if you're booking that hotel on the day, just be careful. And if you're going to get a taxi from the bus station or the port, check the price before you get in the taxi because that was extortionate for what it was offering. Look at this, what an incredible ending. We found Indian Cuisine, what's the name of the restaurant? to see the name of the restaurant where's it hold on incredible India that's the name of the restaurant sorry for the LED lights all these wee side streets are amazing aren't they we'll be doing some exploring up and down these uh, side streets will be souvenir shop there as well so there is it's like the only Indians I think in this area I don't think about it tonight I'm going to go for something different we'll wait and see what's this wee restaurant down here Okay, so be careful. Overpriced taxis. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you, I met a tourist at the bus station and we were complaining about the price of taxis. He was on another cruise, a day trip, and he went to another island and he came off and he was going like two minutes down the road, uh, maybe five minutes down the road, and he says a taxi cost 40 euros. He says it was five minutes. I think he said it was five kilometres, so that's probably just under four mile, three and a half mile. And he says the taxi was a complete rip-off. So I've not been in taxis yet, I won't be in any of them, I don't think, unless I get one going to the airport. They have got Uber here as well, so check that. But yeah, if you're getting a taxi from any tourist point outside a cruise port or a bus station, be careful. You might be better even going onto the public street and flagging a taxi down, it would be a lot cheaper. But the guy was complaining about the price of taxis as well. This wee place here, lovely, isn't it? Pizza place from Mam or something. Looks pretty nice to me. Oh, it's lovely inside. Nice inside. This wee bar here looks cracking, isn't it? Oh, it's a wee Irish pub. 
There we go. We've got the football on tonight. Uh, there's a couple of Irish pubs here, actually. There's one with live music. There's one there as well. It's called Castle Car, something like that. And uh, I think there's one down there as well, but we'll do another video showing you that if I find it. Um, this will be one here as well. So they're showing the football in here tonight. Look. Sky Sports in the background. That's noted. Might have live music on here as well. Yeah, there's quite a few TVs in there. Um, I, I know that two of the Irish bars have got live music. They're both called the same. One's called Gaff. Another one's called Gaff too. So they're basically the same company. That just brings you back out there. Um, more down that wee side street as well. Lovely place, isn't it? Okay, viewers, an incredible ending. Incredible ending at the Indians. <laughs> I actually forgot that I was there. I seen it earlier on. Um, I'll try and stay out it. Try my best. Thanks for watching. What a disaster with the hotel. I've got another video showing you where it ended up staying. Um, the location is brilliant. It's just around the corner from there. The room's not the best, but I was in a really nice hotel last night in Splat. One of the best deals I've ever had on the channel. Um, and then a back to reality tonight, kind of slumming it a wee bit in this room. It's not the best room. Not even got a private bathroom. Shared bathroom, but it is right next to the room, so it's fine. Anyway, if you're new to the channel, do me a wee favour. Hit the wee subscribe button there. It's absolutely free. Doesn't cost a penny. Check out all the other videos on the channel. And let me know, do you agree with the taxi prices here? Unbelievable. No way I was paying it. I would have walked that 45 minutes before I paid that uh, cheeky rascals 20 euros for two minutes. Uh, see you next one.